You haven't tried any of your fruit cup. You gotta eat. I'm not hungry. Chris is gonna get angry. You get too skinny, he's gonna think I haven't taken good care of you. Come on. Michael, we have no idea that he's even okay. We know he's okay because the Sheik has to negotiate tomorrow and he is not going to hurt Cruz. Oh, well, I wish I were as sure of that as you are. Well, I am. Now, come on, you're going to see him tomorrow. I need to speak to Mrs. Castillo alone. So much for your promises of peace. I would be presented as a leader trying to move his country into modern times. They paint me as a barbarian. They ridicule our ideals. This is only one article. There are others in other languages. But if you read it, it doesn't actually call you a barbarian. Then what are they calling me when they degrade our traditions? Well, there's only one tradition I see them talking about. The fact that I have more than one wife? Look, I told you that the rest of the world was going to think this was antiquated at best. Personally, I think it's a little strange, especially since you said you don't love any of them. It is not your affair. And I treat my wives very well. Women are leaders of nations now. How do you expect them to react to a man who has 15 wives? I do not have 15 wives. I have 12. Things have changed. If you want respect, you are going to have to show them that women have rights too. So the international press is having a field day. What do you want to do about it? You need them on your side to keep the Sheikh honest at the bargaining table. I will not have my hand forced by outsiders. So you would rather continue a war with the Sheikh just so you can maintain your image? You try my patience, Mrs. Castillo. I don't really give a damn about your patience. My husband's life is on the line. You know, you may not love your wives, but I love my husband. I'd like to have him back. So just know that your tradition could possibly cost my husband his life. All right. I will divorce my wives. I was in love once. But when I lost her, I began to believe that love was only for the ordinary man, and not for me. Perhaps I was wrong. Santa Barbara in the summer. Hard generous, Mr. Kaplan. Got your message? Good. A friend of mine. Somebody touted you very highly about your capabilities. Why don't you just tell me what you want from me, Mr. Kaplan? I was just wondering if you could uh, be trusted to carry out a very uh, sensitive mission. I assume this is about your daughter. How did you know that? Well, I make it a point to keep track of everything that happens in this part of the world. Then you know my son was being held hostage too. Mm-hmm. My daughter is also being held against her will, but not by the same man. And you'd like for me to help your daughter? Why the hell else would I contact you?
thinking about her, aren't you? Who? Oh. The woman in America. You're thinking about her, aren't you? I'm just hoping the negotiations don't break down, so we'll all be going to America tomorrow. Do you know what you'll do when you go back? No, I don't know, but I think, uh, I guess that's what we should all be thinking about, huh? It's a shame that you have not learned to love my country. Mm. You know, Karif can be magical. I guess it can be in some ways. No man has ever treated me as nice as you have. I don't know how to thank you. But you deserve to be treated well. And now you're free to pick a man who is going to treat you better. Maybe. But maybe you have spoiled me by being so kind and so generous. I... What happened? While he's doing it, he's divorcing his wives. How did you get him to do that? I don't know. All I know is that the, at least the press will concentrate on the uh, negotiations with the Sheikh. I mean... Well, anything that works, we got to bring more pressure on him just to release Cruz soon. 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 It is done. What is done? I have divorced my wives. But when I left you, you were just leaving to tell them. How could you be divorced? My word is law. That was very quick. Divorced lawyers around the world are going to be quaking in their boots. Speaking of quaking in their boots, I don't think this is good news. You have betrayed me. What is it, another newspaper article? Your father is in Kharif. Oh, I had no idea. You spoke with him on the phone. There must have been some code. No, there was no code. You heard everything I said. I told him not to come. Then why is he here? Well... He's just as stubborn as I am. I mean, I told you that. But just because her father is here doesn't mean that he's going to do anything to hurt the negotiation. My intelligence sources tell me otherwise. It seems he has already contacted certain people here in Kharif. People with experience in guerrilla tactics. Now, if your father intends to try to free you by force, he will regret it and so will you. Luck never enters into it, Mr. Capwell. I have 20 men who are willing to uh, participate in this operation. Only 20 men. We also have a helicopter. You see, Mr. Capwell, a small, experienced strike force would be much more effective in an operation like this. All right. What about going in for my son-in-law? One step at a time, Mr. Capwell. Mr. Janarant, I have a straight question for you. Do you really think you can pull this off? Mr. Capwell, I am a businessman just like you, but unlike you, my life is on the line with every deal I make. And I don't stand to collect any of your money if I'm dead, right? Now, I'm not saying it won't be dangerous or expensive, but the odds are very good. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't care about the odds. I don't care about the cost. And truthfully, I don't care much about your life. Hmm. All I care about is that my daughter comes out safely. Clear. You must talk to him. Find out more about his wife. What makes you believe he will answer your questions now? We will find a way to make him answer. I must know if his wife has any more tricks up her sleeve to influence our negotiation. Guard! Where is the guard? The door is open. <laughs> Find Castillo. He's our own leverage for negotiation. Dead or alive. Oh, you heard me. Yeah. This operation is on hold for the time being. Capwell just got a call from the Pasha. He's on his way to see his daughter right now. Oh, no. Hell no. It's his funeral. It's so good to see you. Oh, you too, Daddy. Mr. Michael, what the hell are you doing here? It's a long story. 
One I probably wouldn't understand because I really don't understand what you two are doing here anyway. Have you heard anything about Cruz, Daddy? I was going to ask you the same thing. No, I haven't heard a word. I just hope the Sheik hasn't already heard him somehow. I do not believe Edie Benadir would do anything so foolish now. I don't know about that. Seems to be a lot of foolish things being done around here. You are quite safe in my country, Mr. Capwell. As are your daughter and Mr. Donnelly. Yes, well, the U.S. Embassy knows I'm here anyway. I am aware of that. I have spoken with the ambassador. I, I am honored to have you as my guest. I'm not your guest, and neither is my daughter. Now, what I want to know is... please. Could I speak to my father alone just for a moment? Of course. Daddy, you cannot threaten him. Fine, then I know it'll do some good. No, you can't do anything crazy. Please promise me. Look, honey, you can call it what you want, but I've got a professional going to handle things, all right? No, you can't do that. That penny ante potentate is not giving us much choice. Right, that's exactly why we have to let the negotiations go through as planned. Otherwise, Cruz might be hurt. Honey, don't you see, when I get you and Michael out, they're going to go after Cruz anyway. Cruz will be dead by the time you get there. The Sheik cannot be trusted. The negotiations have to go as planned. I mean, we have to put international pressure on him. What about you? I'm, I'm fine. The, the Pasha is not a bad man. You feel the same way? I don't have as benevolent a view of our host, but I don't think an attack is the answer right now. I think the negotiations are our best chance. I have just received a communique from the Sheikh. He has cancelled the negotiations. Why would he call off negotiations? No reason was given. What about Cruz? Did he mention a hostage? No. Well, guess what, darling? It falls back into my hands again, doesn't it? It is not your battle. The hell it is, and that bastard still has my son-in-law. No, Daddy, there has to be some other way. No. We have tried your way. It did not work. I don't understand this. He was willing to negotiate. He had crews to bargain with. Why would he... Something's happened to Cruz, Daddy. Is the seat taken? You look like you've been run over by a herd of camels. <laughs> Thank you. You American? Born, anyway. I used to be the only one in Karif. And now the place is crawling with reporters. Why is that? Because of the trouble between the Pasha and the Sheikh? What else? Also this, uh, business with this, uh, American businesswoman. What American woman? Oh. This one. 